A Tulsa woman is grieving after her son and husband drowned during their family 4th of July celebrations at Keystone Lake. She tells News on 6's Jaden Brandon the holiday will never be the same. This was the last place Kenesha Richardson's family was all together. What would start as a fun camping trip for the 4th of July would end in a way they never would have imagined. These are all the kids we're just missing too. That's Jamarius. All Kenesha Richardson and her family can do is look through photos. I can go back to the day that we took the pictures of how Jamaris was being goofy <laughs> and playing around. <laughs> Him and his dad, they always goofy and playing around the wrestling. It helps them remember the good times, but right now they also bring pain. He was. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Take your time. Jamaris was a great kid. Kenesha and her family were swimming at a new spot on the lake, Appalachia Bay, on the 4th of July. I was just telling him, let's go back, go back up, because we don't know how, you know, deep it's going to get. Swimming with her husband, Nathaniel. She lost her glasses before hearing her 14-year-old son, Jamarius. I didn't see him no more, so I'm trying to stay above water or whatever to, you know, to swim. And then I heard my son, you know, saying, help me, you know, mama, help me. And I couldn't help him because I was drowning myself. Nathaniel started swimming towards Jamarius, but they both went under. I would have never went to that lake if I knew something like this was going to happen. Never. I wish I would have just went to the lake that we knew. Although she knows she can't change the past, Kenesha wishes she could tell Nathaniel and Jamarius she loves them just one more time. Tell them I love them. I love them so much. And I miss them, and I'm so sorry that this happened. Kanisha says she thinks she would have drowned in the lake too if it wasn't for a nearby stranger who pulled her and her other children to shore. She wants to thank that person for trying to save Nathaniel and Jamarius too. At Keystone Lake, Jaden Brannon, Oklahoma's own News on Six.